Alan Solar, share the passive income guru in this video tutorial explains to you how to set up a chart with moving averages so that you can start reading a chart and know why currencies are fluctuating up and down and uh, trade from an educated point of view rather than a, an emotional point of view. Right, so uh, what you need to do is, is that once you've opened your chart and you've set up your bot, uh, you can see that we're now trading, everything's trading, and now we're going to add uh, some, uh, some moving averages to this chart. So I've dropped a file on your desktop, and uh, how you activate and load that, uh, that template is there's an icon over here that says templates. So the, you just click on it and drop down the menu and click on load template. So please pause the video. Go and uh, um, uh, click on uh, load template now. Once done, you can come back to this video and resume the video. Now, when you, once you're on the screen, just click on desktop if you're not already there. And there, there may be two files there. Anyone will work. Um, and you just click double click it. And then the, uh, the moving average template will now load on your chart. So please pause the video. Uh, and go and do that step. Once done, you can come back to this video and resume the video. Now, as you can see, all the writing on this chart has disappeared. There's no smiley face on this on this chart. Uh, so you will need to reset up your robot um, so that uh, your robot is still activated. Okay, so let's do that together. What you need to do is you just drag the robot over onto the graph uh, like that. Uh, wait for the new window to open. So please pause the video. Go and do that step now. Drag the robot onto the chart. Once done, you can come back to this video and resume the video. So I'm uh, going to set my robot uh, up according to my equity, and then you'll do the same. Just check on the website, check uh, what lot size and uh, demata you must use. Uh, once done, you can uh, click on OK. So please pause the video. Um, go and do that step. Once done, you can come back to this video. And resume the video. So as you can see now uh, my moving averages are loaded and my bot has been restarted and uh, everything seems to be in order. I haven't interfered with the bot at all. Now when I reactivated the bot a new currency wasn't bought and how we do how we know that is that you can just click on the time frame over here. Um, we're on the 15th of the 8th and the last trade that was open was 11.30 uh, and the time now is uh, 11.39. So no new trade has been opened uh, for that currency, uh, which is great. Okay, so now that you've got your, uh, your chart set up, uh, I can now start explaining to you uh, what, these, uh, what these moving averages are. So these moving averages, basically, what a moving average is, it is a, uh, a point on the graph depicted in a graphical format by the close out of the last X amount of candles. Okay, so this is a candle over here and uh, each candle represents a time frame. Okay, so this is the open of this candle and this is the close of this candle. Uh, as you can see, it's gone down and on a green candle, it is this is the open and uh, the top is the close. Okay, uh, the, the small little bodies at the bottom are called wicks. So um, that the wick represents the lowest part, the lowest that that currency was for that time frame. The top of the wick represents the highest price that that, uh, that, the, the, uh, that the currency achieved in that time frame. And uh, the body is basically um, where it opened and where it closed for that time frame. Okay, or on a, on a, on a uh, uh, when the currency was going down, if the currency was going up, then that will be the open and uh, that will be the close. So the bottom will be the open and the top will be the close. And for a, for a candle that's going, um, that's bearish, then the top will be the open and the bottom will be the close. Okay. Now, uh, how a uh, moving average is plotted is uh, I've got various different moving averages on here. I've got a five moving average. Um, I've got a 10 moving average. I've got an eight exponential moving average. I've got a 34 moving average a 50, a 100, and a 200. And then the white lines are my Bollinger Bands. So the uh, how, how a uh, moving average is uh, created is the MT4 program takes the closeout of the last X amount of candles. 
the average of the closeout of the last X amount of candles. So if we were doing a 10 uh, moving average, we would take the, uh, the average of the closeout price of the last 10 candles and then we'll plot a dot on the graph. Okay, the next time frame that appears uh, will obviously, at, at, when that time frame is finished, then um, uh, the, the computer will then take the closeout of the last 10 candles um, and then plot another dot on the on the graph and then the, a line will uh, connect those dots, hence forming the moving average line. So this is a four hour chart, so each candle represents four hours. So when we talk about a 10, uh, 10 moving average, it is the closeout of the last 10 uh, four hour candles that were formed and a dot is then formed on on uh, on the uh, on the chart okay very very simple to understand uh, we all did uh, you know line charts and line graphs in maths in uh, in standard 5 and 6 so uh, we all understand how that works very no, nothing complicated um, now the reason I've asked you to set up this chart is because on the frequently asked questions section there are three videos explaining to you how to read a chart and what these moving averages mean and uh, how to understand uh, why the currency is either stalling and going sideways or trending in a downward um, in a in a downward uh, motion or uh, going bullish in an upward uh, in an upward direction so go through the frequently asked questions after you've set up the uh, the, the charts um, and uh, you can basically see exactly why the currency is doing why what it's doing you know um, so the definition of insanity uh, in the forex world is when you start watching the prices uh, on your screen and you can see lots of red and you're in panic mode and you don't know why uh, you're, uh, you know, the currency has gone in, in that direction. So uh, just to let you know that our robot trades against the trend. Um, so if, if the price is going up, the robot will be selling. If the, if the price is going down, the robot will be buying. Right, so go ahead and set up your moving averages on the rest of your charts and make sure that after you've set up the template on the chart, you drag the robot onto that currency and make sure that you, your robot is activated on all currencies that you're trading. Um, if your robot isn't activated on the currency, then obviously you won't be trading. So the next thing that you need to do is after uh, setting up your robots is, uh, and loading the template is to go through the FAQ section on the on the website namely uh, the uh, how to read a forex chart there's three videos there uh, with the moving averages and then eventually there'll be a whole series of uh, how to read the candlesticks in detail so that you can make educated decisions um, when uh, you know when 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 needed to in case uh, um, you know you need to do manual trading and if you do ever want to do manual trading. So I hope that you found this video to be interesting. If you did, please mouse over this video in the top left-hand corner of the video. Uh, there's, a, there's a YouTube icon. Click on the YouTube icon, which will take you to my YouTube channel. Once on the YouTube channel, to scroll down below the video, there is a big red subscribe icon. Click on that icon. Then next to that icon, there is a bell icon. Click on the bell icon. Click on the thumbs up icon and leave a positive comment as well as your Bitcoin wallet address in the comment section because uh, I give away uh, 0.005 of a Bitcoin every single Friday and you could be the lucky winner of that prize. So good luck for that and I'll see you on the next video.